Hey guys, Get Me Cool Gamer here. Uh, we're doing uh, move set guides, so I just would like to start with the Paladea starters. I think that'd be a good place to start for this series. Um, I have a lot of really interesting move set guides. Uh, I have some really really cool uh, ideas for some Pokemon, so I think it's gonna be a really fun series to do. Uh, but I wanted to get the starters out of the way, so. This one's going to be short and sweet. Uh, Meowskarada is uh, a very traditional sweeper. It's It's got very fast speed stat, um, a 110 attack stat's really, really solid. Um, and then it's going to have access to the protein ability, obviously. So um, it's going to be able to go stab in any one of its moves. It's kind of predictable, though. We're already, already in late regulation D. Um, and we pretty much know, okay, if you have a Meowskarada um, and they lead a Dragon-type move, they're probably going to go for a play rough. Um, you can get a little tricky with the trick, which is going to be really, really nice. Um, you can trick choice items, and I think that's where Meowskarada really shines. Um, it's just tricking a choice item on a tanky, a slow setup Pokemon. Um, you can get uh, Tain Lu with this really, really well um and there's there's plenty of other examples of that um and then you can still also just you have really nice utility a lot of really good moves um defensively you're not living anything so there's really no point in running bulky meowskarata you're pretty much always going to go jolly nature max attack max speed um so really straightforward there um and then it's signature move flower trick we already know uh always lands critical hits so that's gonna be super super nice if they have set up tank Pokemon, you just want to go in with a really powerful move. Let's say you're running Choice Band on it. Um, you're just going to be able to bully them um, and go right through them. Um, I think it could be decent against Urshifu. Um, uh, Rapid Strike style, we're seeing a ton of Urshifu play right now. It's one of the top 10 used, most used Pokemon. Um, and Flower Trick definitely does threaten it. Um, and you should, you should be able to live... Uh, aqua jet no problem even if it's going to uh, terra water right um so there there definitely is some good viability you also have access to the knockoff which can be really nice you have taunt um u-turn oftentimes you'll see uh to pivot uh low kick can be a really nice move if you're going up against a pokemon that are really really weak to low kick um but yeah so let's let's hop into showdown um and see see how we want to run it so again i think choice band meowskarata just makes the most sense right at 123 base speed, uh, you're very, very fast. Um, you're one of the fastest Pokemon in the game, right? Not not a lot of things are going to be outspeeding you. Uh, 110 attack, not really cutting it. But with the choice fan, you can find some nice KOs, especially if you're getting super effective. You're probably going to get the knockout, right? Um, if you go tear grass, if you're going hyper offense, um, you might be able to find a one-hit KO on a Pokemon that's not very bulky. Uh, so just definitely a lot of, a lot of merit there. Um, you also see a lot of road and wash, right? Road and wash has always been a huge threat. It's just such a good typing. Um, and being able to pressure road and wash right off the beginning of the game is so nice. Um, being a choice item user, it also allows you to really, uh, not be threatened by getting tricked with the choice item. Uh, you're resisting hydro pump, you're resisting thunderbolt, right? So really, really solid against road and wash. I know that when I was running road and wash in a lot of my early teams, um, uh, at the start of Battle Stadium, uh, competitive and sort of Scarlet and Violet, uh, I would run into Meowskarada all the time, and I wouldn't want to lead Rotom just because of it. So really, really solid there. Play rough again, really there just to kind of deal with fighting types, dragon types, anything annoying like that. Um, you can hit uh, some dark type Pokemon if you run into that. Um, so that's really nice. Soccer Punch is just going to give you a really powerful uh, priority option. Priority is so important right now. There's so many strong priority Pokemon, and just having that as an option is so nice. Um, unfortunately, now uh, with Chain Pao being into the game, Chain Pao is so fast, right? Um, and so it can just it can just ice shard you. Um, but a lot of Chain Pao aren't really running ice shard too, which is nice. Um, so uh you might run into a sucker punch but you have some options right it's it's you don't expect to live too much with meoscarada but it really really solid offensive sweeper um now this next set is actually taking advantage of the overgrow ability um now that they change protein so that you're going to only be whatever uh, type you use for your first move, it doesn't really make sense to keep swapping back and forth between moves. You just kind of want to go all in with that grass type attack, right? Flower Tricks going to be your main way to do damage. Um, you got the Terra Grass. And I really like Lechi Berry on here. Um, I'm going max speed, max hit points. 
the goal is they're not going to expect a bulky Masquerada. I know I was just bashing that a minute ago, but when you have the element of surprise, um, it can be a really, really solid option. Home Claws is just kind of boost your speed a little bit. I don't think it gets the Swords Dance, right? Sword, no. Yeah, so just um, just to get some uh, attack rate boost here. Um, the hit points is really just to allow you to pop off that Lychee Berry. If you can get one or two Home Claws off in a Lychee Berry, um, and then you have the Overgrow, you can go Terra Grass, you can go Flower Trick. If you're faster than everything on their team, you're you're taking everything out, right? So I just thought that was kind of a fun set. It's always fun to try to use overgrow and like the like the base starter abilities. Um and I think Meow Scrod actually pulls it off really well. So I, I hope you have fun if you want to go and try this set out. Um and then the last set, I was just trying to be goofy with it here. Um it does get access to Leech Sheet, so you can go Leech Sheet Protect, um, Foul Play you have access to, which is really, really nice too if they're boosting. Um, you can hide behind substitute um, if they're going for a setup move. You're gonna. It's really, really nice to be fast, bulky, right? Um, we've seen uh, fast leech seed work really well with Electrode, Hisui Inversion, and a few other Pokemon. Bramble Gas can pull it off really well. So why I figured why not try it with Meowskarada, right? Obviously, this is not game defined. This is not going to break the meta, um, but it can be kind of fun. And I figured it could be something that could work too. So if you're a big leech seed person. Maybe this is a fun set for you to try out um, that you weren't thinking of before. So other than that, though, really just a fast, sweepy Pokemon. Um, likes to run Life Orb, likes to run choice items, uh, can trick those choice items and really trap a lot of slow, bulky setup Pokemon. Um, it can pivot with U-Turn if you like to pivot. That could be really, really solid in Battle Stadium singles. Uh, so you have options, right? Uh, so with, with without any further ado, I think that's going to wrap up this video. Thanks for watching, guys.